Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the three best ways I know of to get the most out of high level. Let's dive in. Okay, so if you're in the agency game and you don't know what high level is, you've probably been living under a rock for some time. It's fantastic. It's really good for lead management, I guess. That's what we, we use it the most for. And what we can do is white label this software as our own and sell it to our clients for monthly retainer or whatever that looks like. And then we're able to pretend that that is our CRM. And when they're using it, they're getting all the features of high level and thinking it came from the agency. So it's a really cool tool. You should check it out. There'll be a link below in my um, description where you can find out. I think we've got a 30 day trial or whatever. But um, that's besides the point. Today I wanna to talk to you about three really effective ways that we're using or kind of high level hacks that we're using to really kind of set our business on fire, bring in a lot of revenue, get results for our clients and just generally optimize and kind of get the most out of this amazing software with the least amount of effort, okay? The first one is, if you are using high level for lead generation, okay? So let's say you're pointing a Facebook lead ad to high level, okay? So someone will see an ad in Facebook or TikTok or whatever, they fill out their name, email, and phone for an offer. That offer could be um, solar panels or whatever. And when the person goes through and hits high level for your agency, what happens then is that people often try and ask the wrong questions to get the lead engaged with the SMS or the email. A lot of the times clients will pick up the phone and call them straight away. Sometimes they're not very good at that. But what we've found over time is that you wanna get them started with a very, very simple binary question to get started, okay? So if it was something like solar, a question you might want to ask, which is easy to answer on that first SMS and email is something like, hi, it's Dan here from XYZ Solar. Do you use electricity or gas to heat your home? Text back, okay? And as soon as they text back, then what happens is you've got a conversation going and your automations or workflows or whatever that might be, um, or your sales team can kind of pick that up or your client sales team, sorry, can pick that up and work the lead, okay? But if, they're, if the kind of question straight away is, do you wanna book an appointment? It's too big a, a commitment for that person. You're gonna scare them off, okay? The lead is the first kind of domino to fall. And the next domino to fall is getting them engaged, okay, and text back. And I, I see a lot of people just forget about this vital next domino. And I would recommend if you are doing lead gen and you haven't tried something like this, you should give it a go because it's gonna make all the difference. Trust me, you're gonna potentially double your contact rates just by thinking about that first binary question, okay? Okay, number two, point number two for high level. And this is an important one for us and it's changed everything with the way that we run business, okay? I used to um, be on the phone a lot trying to close clients, trying to close people into our education business. And I used salespeople and all that type of stuff and it's kind of exhausting and it's hard work and there's no shows and all that type of stuff. And what we've learned over time is that rather than having a lead come into high level and going through that binary question that we just spoke about, and then an automation, you know, booking them into an appointment so someone can pick up the phone and call them, you know, that's okay, right? It kind of works, that model works. But usually, you know, if you're anything like me and not great on the phone, you kind of usually bumble through a sales pitch, you get it wrong, you um, mess it up, you get all nervous when the close happens. And it's just a, it just, you have bad days and all that type of stuff as well. What we've learned if we put a kind of pre sales document before the call or the sale, to get people excited about the service, or the offer to the point where they're just right on the edge and ready to go by using the power of the written word, then the sales part is very, very easy, okay? And it means you're gonna save yourself time, energy, and money by allowing like the power of the written word to close rather than a human, all right? And we, we usually do this, you know, sometimes we put that, like, that kind of sales letter, as you might call it, that pre-sales page on an unbounce page. But we've also done a lot recently with just putting on, on a Google Doc, for some reason, Google Docs just work really well. So people will go through the funnel, click on the ad, come into high level, binary question, getting them started, some qualification questions. And then rather than booking their appointment or trying for the sale, 
we'll send them the, the doc for them to find out more. That'll convert the person there right to the edge and then it's much easier to make the sale either inside the document or if you've got a service-based offer, then it's much easier for the lead to tra be transferred to the salesperson for the close. The third tool we use is integrating OpenAI and ChatGBT into high level directly, okay? So once we get that binary question sorted, then our what we call is our sales Android takes over the conversation and then directs people based on their, um, the instruction we give them with our prompt writing to that, that Google Doc, okay? And what we found over time, over the past eight weeks, is that our sales Android closes people without any human interaction at all, okay? Um, so if we're running ads to a roofer, then our ads might say, are you struggling with clients that don't pick up the phone out of hours leads or appointment setters that don't know what they're doing? Click below to pay with our sales Android and do away with all that type of stuff. So they come in, they click the ad, and then they go through, connect to OpenAI and ChatGPT. The conversion process happens. We send them to a Google Doc and these people are converting themselves. It's like one of the most crazy things I've seen in my agency years, okay? It's completely hands off, all right? And what you've got when they come in and buy is a whole host of upsells and things you can do as well. So um, that's why we're very excited about it, okay? So uh, if you've got any questions about how we're doing this or what that looks like, then um, we have got some more information below in the description where we kind of talk about our our sales Android and what that looks like and how much it costs. I'd love for you to check it out. You can have a play actually with that, see how it works and we can take it from there. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Please uh, give us a like or a thumbs up if you like what you've seen today. Please subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know whenever we create new videos. And lastly, comment below if you've got any questions. I'll speak to you later. Take care.